Uh, today I wanted to talk about the fruits of our self-control, uh, what it means to, to get to that stage where you're, um, you're well on your way to, I suppose, not complete self-control, but just self-control in general. Um, what do you get by uh, working on the skill of self-control? And believe me, it's a skill that anyone can learn. If I can learn how to control myself, anybody can, right? It's, um, uh, I was, I stopped drinking about 10 years ago as I'm talking uh, here and uh, I stopped smoking. I've changed my life in so many different ways. But in the final year or two of my drinking, I, was, I felt like I was losing everything. I was losing all my self-control. Um, and partly because of that, because um, I wasn't controlling myself. I was thinking in terms of instant gratification. I was thinking in terms of what I could um, substitute now in the moment instead of thinking about long-term long-term plans and long-term gains and what I could achieve uh, both for myself and my family in the long term so uh, there's a lot to be said for knuckling down and really working on your own self-control it's not easy right it doesn't it doesn't happen overnight and as I say it's something that you have to work on um, it's something that you might be forced to work on, which I think I was sort of forced into the situation of stopping drinking. And then you gradually start to think, well, how can I get better? And how can I get better and better? But um, for me, one of the biggest benefits was I was able to change my moods and my emotions, how I was thinking about things, how I was um, just motivating myself in life. Uh, you know, as I say, it's a gradual, gradual, gradual process. It's not something, uh, especially when you're talking about something so deep as um, uh, motivating, uh, motivation, especially when you're talking about something so deep set as emotional control. Uh, it takes a while to really see yourself through and to push yourself in that direction of um, being able to change your moods in a moment, in an instant. And that's what you're going for. Um, emotional control is all about being able to switch by the power of your own thoughts or actions from one mode of thinking, from one um, not destructive, but can be destructive way of thinking into another. Uh, but definitely moving yourself from a negative into a positive mode of thinking. The second one is that you get mastery over your gob over what's coming out of your mouth. Uh, when I was a drinker, Jesus, did I say some crap stuff. You know, I really, um, I think for the sake of, of sanity, it's a good job that we can't remember half the stuff that we say while we're drinking. Um, to be honest with you, the more I got into the whole journey without alcohol, the more I got into the journey with alcohol, the more I understood that um, it wasn't just the stuff that I was saying when I was drunk that I couldn't remember. I started losing my memory uh, in general because you tend to do the same things over and over again. You tend to make the same mistakes over and over again. Uh, and I suppose that's the same with almost any habit that you're taking in. So uh, another thing is that you, I suppose this comes back down to... Um, the emotions but you gain a certain mastery over your responses and this is part of your personal responsibility how are you um how are you gonna how are you gonna take responsibility for yourself what are you gonna do when something happens to you how are you gonna react um, and that comes down to again self-control self-discipline you know saying to yourself well this is not something that I'm doing anymore. Uh, this is not something that I'm allowing myself to do. This is not the person that I'm going to be anymore. So um, I have to choose alternative strategies. I have to choose alternative ways of, of being. Um, and that involves choosing alternative ways of reacting and responding just to everyday life. And I could go on and on here with different stuff you know uh, how you respond to your schedule your mastery over 
the things that you're doing every day. You know, one of the things that I've noticed when I've stopped drinking alcohol is I can get up every morning and know that what I plan for the day is going to come out. Um, everything that I plan for the week is going to come out. Uh, everything that I plan for the month or even for the year is going to happen. Most of the things anyway. You know, there's always going to be some things that are going to change because you've changed as a person over the, the course of that length of time over a year so maybe what you start planning for in the, the beginning of the year is not going to happen at the end towards the end because your plans have changed but in general um, it's not something that I could say when I had bad habits in my life when I had um, that mentality of instant gratification in my life um, I wasn't definitely wasn't going towards the best possible version of myself anyway that's for sure um, two other things are um, you start to gain mastery over your finances and you start to gain mastery over your health. But these two things are symptoms of um, having good self-control overall. Um, you know, you, you start to make better choices when you start thinking about the future. Um, you, you start thinking about your physical health and your financial health. Where am I going to be in, in 10 years time, in 20 years time? And what kind of a person do I want to be? Uh, how am I going to make that happen? You know, do I want to be a 60 year old who's struggling for money? Uh, do I want to be a 60 year old who's visiting the doctor and popping pills? Or is there anything I can do now to try and mitigate that? That all comes down to self-control, um, controlling yourself, controlling your mind, controlling your um, whether or not you're going to think about instant gratification now in the moment or whether you're going to think about uh, yeah, short term short-term discomfort, long-term comfort, long-term happiness, long-term thinking about things in, in being a, uh, committed to having a contented life. I'll end, end it there for today. Just thought it was a few, uh, few benefits of self-control while I'm out here doing my walk this morning. Take care of yourself and I'll speak to you again soon. Onwards and upwards. Bye now.